<clears throat> okay, situation 13. A beam rests on a concrete wall 306 millimeters wide with 27.5 um, MPA compressive strength and that is the FC prime FC prime of concrete so refer to the figure shown ito yung binigay na figure dyan sa for exam taruhin natin so naka 2D lang yung figure natin so ito yung ating concrete then uh, ito yung ating steel beam then there is a base free before mag um touch yung ating beam, steel beam sa concrete, meron pa tayong base plate to distribute the uh, stresses. No? Publikado sa tingnan pero madali lang yung problem na to. <clears throat> okay. So, given properties D, uh, BF, that is for this uh, beam, weft thickness, and the critical section for bending in bearing plates is at a distance K from the centroidal Y axis. Where K is a given property, 35 millimeters. So, allowable stresses, we have your steel yield stress, FY. Bearing stress on support, that is the bearing allowable bearing stress of the concrete. Then, bending stress, FBY, of the plate. Allowable bending of the plate. Then, the beam reaction. So, beam ito dito. Uh, uh, yung tinutukoy dito na 480 kN is... That one, the beam reaction. First question, determine the minimum uh, width P. Ito yan, width P of the base plate with bearing length N equal to 200 mm. Okay, second question, the web yielding stress, which occurs at a distance N plus 2.5K, where N is the length of the bearing plate. Then here, uh, given yung dimension ng um, width and the length of the bearing plate. And pangatlong tanong, determine the required thickness of this plate, of the base plate. Thickness niya. Okay, so kung uh, ito drawing natin yan sa 3D, uh, we will be focusing on this part sa end beam reaction. Kasi yung binigay na load dito is uh, beam and reaction. Pwede rin kasi siyang interior. But indicated siya beam and reaction. And of course, uh, dito yung base plate na tinutuko dyan. <coughs> okay, ito yung base plate sa 3D. Ito naman yung beam natin. And let's say that is the concrete wall support. Pero sa binigay na um, width of the ano, of the concrete support, but di natin yung kailangan. Ito yung uh, hinahanap sa number 40. So sa 3D, ito yung B natin. And itong side view, that part here is the side view of that uh beam, then ito yung ating N. These are the dimension of the base plate. So, that determine the minimum width B based on bearing stress given N 200 millimeters. Based on bearing stress. So, of course, my reaction to dito sa baba. And that reaction will be distributed on this area. And yan yung ating bearing stress. Inatawag natin yung FP. Bearing stress is simply force over the contacting area. So, yung ating base plate may contact sa area ng concrete. Okay. So, take note, binigay yung bearing stress, allowable bearing stress on support. Or that is the allowable bearing stress on the concrete. So, criteria natin, yung actual stress, and that is force, that is the reaction, over the area. Area is B by N. Actual. Hindi pwedeng lumagpas sa allowable. Ganun lang yan. Parate basta mag-design ka. In terms of stresses. So, R is 480,000 uh, newtons. B is unknown. N is 200 millimeters. Then, yung FP natin is 0.35 FC prime. Yung FC prime is 27.5. Rearranging that one, makukuha natin B must be greater or equal to 249.35 millimeters. Okay, so we will choose the nearest rounded up value in the choices. Of course, 250 para mas maging matibay. Hindi ka magra-round down ha, basta dimensions. Okay, next. So yung kasunod na tanong is web yielding stress number 41. 
Ano ba yung web yielding stress? Okay, from the word web. So, uh, stress yan sa web. Determine the web yielding stress which occurs at a distance n plus 2.5k where n is the length of the bearing plate. The bearing plate given is 250 mm wide and 200 mm long. Okay, so pag sinabing uh, wide or width, it is always the B of the base plate. Yung length is the N. Yan yung definition dyan sa code. Okay? Now, ito yung tinutukoy ni, um, yung sa part na ito, no? N plus 2.5K. Ito siya. Yung area na yan, yung i-consider natin na ma-distribute yung ating stresses. I mean, dito natin kinukuha yung stress. Alright? The length is N plus 2.5K. So, if we say yielding stress, it is just simply force over area. Where the force here is the end beam reaction, and the area is this red shaded part. Yeah. Ano yung area ng red shaded part? So, according to this, the distance is N plus 2.5K, the length. And we know that the thickness of web is TW. And TW is given 10 millimeters. So, ito yung stress dyan. Uh, web building stress, tawagin ko na lang siyang FW. Okay? Force over area lang. And the area is that one. So, define well the given, 250 mm CP. Then, yung length is 200 millimeters. Dapat di yan magkabaligtad kasi magkakamali ka. Okay? So, the web building stress is reaction here divided by that red area. And that is simply TW times N plus 2.5K. Kompleto na yan. Yung R is 480,000 newtons. TW is 10 millimeters. Yung N is 200 millimeters. 2.5K is 35 mm. So the answer is 166.96 megapascal. Or 167 megapascal. Okay? So, pangatlong tanong dito is the uh, minimum required thickness of the base plate. Okay. Determine the required uh, bearing plate thickness in millimeters if the bearing plate B by N is 250 by 250 millimeters. So, yung basis sa pag-design ng thickness of the base plate is uh, bending stress on the base plate. Now, um, kung isipin natin, Etong base plate yan, pwede yung mag-bend pa ganyan, no? Pwede siyang mag-bend pa ganyan because of this unbalanced force located here at this portion of the base plate. Da? And according to this, the critical section for bending in bearing plates is at a distance k from the centroidal y-axis. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin dyan? So, ganito yan. Ito yung thickness na kukunin natin. Alright. So, ito yung centroidal y-axis of that um, wide flange. Ito naman yung x. Yung critical section is ito. Sabi niya, as a dis uh, at a distance k. So, offset ka pa ng distance k from the y centroidal axis. So, tawagin natin yung x. This is the length of bending. So, this is the critical section. Of course, because of this... Um, pressure here below below this area there is a bending moment reaction okay derive natin yung formula yung makikita nyo dito sa mga books uh, may formula na na presented derive natin yung formula it is based on that bending so kung i-define natin yung bending by variables that will be force times distance and the force is equal to the stress stress fp or pressure multiplied by the projected area that becomes a resultant and the projected area here is n times x so resultant force pa lang yan so nag-aakyan dito sa gitna para maging moment multiply pa natin ng moment arm and that should be half of x all right simplify natin this is the moment in terms of variables and Take note that our cross section here, we are considering here a rectangular section for bending. Uh, we know for rectangles, the 
uh, the formula, the maximum bending stress for a rectangular section is 6m over pd squared. Again, kinukonsider uh, natin yung cross section niya. Ito siya. Pala, ito yung neutral axis natin. Thickness yung depth. N is yung B. Okay? B is N. D is T. The actual maximum bending stress shall not exceed the allowable. Alright? M, substitute that one as your M. Then B is N. D is T. Shall not exceed allowable bending stress. We can cancel the value of N. Then... Rearranging that one, the minimum thickness required for the base plate is ito. 3FPX squared over FB. So yung FP is the actual bearing stress. Again, that is simply force over the bearing area. Where force is 480,000 Newton. So area here is B by N. 250 by 250. You have your 7.68. <clears throat> And yung x dito sa formula, as you can see sa figure, that must be half of b. Ito siya half of b yan. b over 2. Minus k. Tatanggalin natin sa k. So x is b over 2 minus k. Substitute 250 over 2 minus 35. We have here x equal to 90 millimeters. Kompleto na yan. Um, FB, allowable bending stress is 0.75 FY. Substitute natin lahat. Then, the minimum required thickness of the base plate is 31.7 millimeters. So again, kung dimension, yung ating kinukuha, choose the nearest rounded up value. So, uh, safe na itong 32 millimeters. 28 cannot be and 25, mas maliit sa dyan. 36 safe siya, but gusto natin pinakamaliit na pwede, and that is the 32 millimeters.